Well, there's a part of our desert where the number of stars, speaking of stars, just like we were, the number walking down the street is comparable to those shining in the night sky. Steve Sumrall uncovers Palm Springs Hollywood connection in this edition of Our Desert Past. It is undeniable that the city of Palm Springs has ties to the golden age of Hollywood. At the city's recent 85th anniversary celebration, this was something that desert residents were more than happy to talk about. New movie stars were contracted to the studios, and this was within that 90-mile limit they, they could come. And so that really helped put us on, on that big, big, big time. That's right. One could easily make the argument that if it wasn't for Hollywood, there would be no Palm Springs. After all, it was the appeal of the visiting celebrities that lured much of the public to this desert oasis. Well, I like the history of the celebrities, of course, and how uh, they had it so casual for themselves and they could go out on their street in the neighborhood and no one bothered them. So I'm born and raised in Los Angeles, so this was our getaway. So I've been coming to Palm Springs my entire life. Desert resident Allison Martino has a personal link to Hollywood's golden age. She is the daughter of famed performer Al Martino. A man you'd absolutely have to admire if you don't want to end up with a horse head in your bed. Ah! And by the way, the vehicle Allison rode in on is also a star. It was immortalized in this 1991 condiment commercial. Pardon me, would you have any gray poupon? Would of course. It's the Grey Poupon Rolls-Royce from 1959. And it was also seen in Colombo, Murder, She Wrote, and The Love Boat. Palm Springs is cinematic. Look around. It makes sense that there's a lot of movies that were filmed here. That's Turner Classic movie host Dave Carger. Who was more than happy to elaborate about some of the classic movies that were shot out here. Andy! Andy! Yes, yes, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, one from my childhood for sure. Uh, tell him Large Marge sent you. Incidentally, he ran from, he was chased from the dinosaurs and jumped on a train. If he was actually to do that, he would have to, there's several fences and uh, lanes of freeway. I guess you had to suspend the disbelief a little. Yeah. Live young when all your dreams are so shiny and new. Palm Springs weekend is a favorite of mine. It was actually filmed really close to where I live. So whenever I'm driving home, I always think, I wonder who was there. It's so much fun. The Wild Angels, starring Peter Fonda and Nancy Sinatra. You talk too much. The Wild Angels is one that we get to show on TCM occasionally. And yes, whenever that's always one that's fun to try to spot different areas and locations that you recognize for sure. Diamonds are forever. I mean, a great kind of thriller, drama. And again, it just shows you all the different things that Palm Springs and the environment can add to a movie. Good luck and may the best man win. Right. Except you, lady. May you just drop dead. It's a Mad 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 World is one of the classic comedies of all time with one of the biggest casts of all time. And the great story behind that is that the whole cast just wanted to make Spencer Tracy laugh. That was everyone's goal. All the comedians wanted to see who could make him laugh and smile. Welcome to the Victory Project. We're all here because we believe in the mission. Don't Worry Darling, I think, is a movie that put Palm Springs on the map for the new generation. I think a lot of people are so fascinated by how beautiful and meticulous the houses look. And it's a movie that I would recommend to people, even though it got overshadowed by some off-screen drama. It's a wonderful film. For Our Desert Past, Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs, News First.